Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Nirmal here and in this video we are going to do an FAQ on the Honor 9 Lite. So the Honor 9 Lite is the latest uh, device uh, under the 15K price segment in India and the two variants are available 4GB RAM and 3GB RAM variant. So in the past couple of days we have been getting a lot of questions on the Honor 9 Lite. So this is one really good device, uh, good specification. So in this video we will cover all the questions we have been getting. Uh, this will include a uh, fast charging uh, support for Volte, uh, dual SIM cards, uh, then uh, you have sensors and a uh, lot of questions we will be addressing in this uh, video. So without any further delay, let's get started. So first step, let's have a look at the sensors available on this device. So this is the sensors app uh, we have installed and you can see it comes with accelerometer, light sensor, orientation sensor, proximity, gyroscope sensor, sound sensor and also magnetic sensors are included. So these are the sensors included. So a lot of uh, uh, viewers have been asking us whether this this comes uh, with gyroscope so you can uh, see that it does come with a gyroscope sensor and uh, you can play 360 uh, degree videos on this uh, device so that's one of the uh, queries we have been getting on this device so it does come with the gyroscope sensor next step let's talk about the display so it comes with a 5.65 inches uh, display this is 18 is 9 aspect ratio display and the display quality is really good and you can see the viewing angles are also really good the touch response is pretty smooth and one of the questions we've been getting whether there is a gorilla glass or any sort of protection on this device so we would like to uh, rem uh, update our views uh, that uh, there is no gorilla glass protection so it comes uh, with a 2.5d glass on the front and uh, rear panel so also the company claims that there is a nano optical feature film uh, on the top and back glass so that's the uh, only protection offered so that's uh, that's only there's no gorilla glass support on this device and we also been getting uh, questions whether the, this uh, glass protection or rather the glass on the back and the front panel is easily breakable so uh, we would like to tell our viewers that uh, while using the device in the past uh, one week or so we accidentally dropped this device uh, two times uh, in during our testing and this is not a uh, not an intentional drop it was an accident drop from almost most like a desk height one meter height and there is absolutely no issues uh, with a uh, uh, one meter height drop so we're not going to do a drop test on this device but since we have been getting questions on how the durability of this device is because it's a glass finish so what we feel is uh, uh, two times it drops from dropped from our hands and uh, both the time it fell on the uh, tiled floor and nothing happened to this device uh, one good thing about the device is it's not a heavy design so even if it falls um, uh, it doesn't break easily it's not a brittle kind of glass so that's what we feel so it is definitely uh, quite uh, durable but then again it depends upon the height of all and also this area or the surface to which the device falls so we can't really say it's an unbreakable glass or something uh, easily breakable so it, it all depends upon how you use the device but in a regular usage uh, we did uh, drop the device uh, accidentally and uh, uh, neither of the time it did have any issues it's uh, perfectly fine so that was the durability aspect of the on and nine light now next step let's talk about the sim card so this device comes uh, with the dual sim card support so let's just open the sim tray and uh, let's just show you so it uh, does come with uh, a hybrid slot so you can see it has a dual sim card and a hybrid slot so if you want to expand the storage you have to compromise on one sim card now the device comes with 4g lt and volte support so we have been using our geo sim card as well now storage options uh, this device comes in two variants the uh, 32 gigabyte storage variant and a uh, 64 gigabyte storage variant so these are the two variants available now talking about the fingerprint scanner so uh, on a uh, nine light has fingerprint scanner located on the rear panel so it's really accurate and responsive and you can see it's uh, pretty fast in unlocking the device so there you go it's quite fast uh, fingerprint scanner and you can also do a lot of things with the fingerprint scanner including taking selfies and navigating the gallery now software this device comes uh, with uh, the uh, emui 8.0 so this is on top of android uh, 8.0 so this that's one of the good aspects about this device let's go to about phone you can see on our uh, emui 8.0 android version is also 8.0 so emui comes with a lot of features uh, and modes and this one of the really good custom ui is available uh, in this price segment now the processor on this device is Kirin 659 octa core chipset it's the same chipset we have been seeing on uh, uh, the on a 7x and also the on a 9i and uh, we'll uh, just show you the benchmark score for this device 67 286 which is quite good score uh, for a uh, Ford in the uh, sub 15k price segment now talking about the battery 
So this comes uh, with a 3000 mAh battery capacity and we also done a dedicated video on the charging time and the battery performance. So there is no fast charging support on this device. We tested with uh, a fast charger and there was absolutely no uh, uh, support for fast charging and it took almost uh, two, two and a half hours plus uh, to charge this device. So that's not a great aspect but uh, the battery performance was quite good. It, we could get almost uh, seven hours of screen on time with this device. Now next step, let's talk about the speaker. So the speaker is located at the bottom panel. You can see there's a speaker. Now let's just play a video from our uh, uh, channel and you can see the sound quality. Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Normal here. And in this video, you're going to do the camera review of the Honor 9 Lite. So, the Honor 9. so that is a speaker test. We feel the speaker does a quite good job. It's not as loud as the Xiaomi's Mi Event speaker, but definitely does a good job in this price segment. Now, next step, let's talk about the notification light. So this device does come with a notification LED. So we'll just plug the charger. And there you go. That's the notification light on this device. Uh, that's a white in color. So that's the notification light available on this device. Now next step let's talk about the USB OTG support so we have connected a pen drive to this uh, device so there you go you can see we have connected a pen drive so now we have connected a pen drive and you can see it is supported here so you can see USB drive is detected and uh, you can uh, view the files and also transfer all the files uh, to uh, the pen drive so there is USB OTG support on this device. So other than that, this phone does not come with NFC or IR Blaster. That 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 has also been the queries we have been getting. So no NFC nor uh, IR Blaster on this device. Now finally talking about uh, uh, the camera comp performance. So we have done a detailed camera review of this device. So camera looks quite good and uh, one of the good camera smartphones in this price segment. So we also done a camera comparison with other smartphones in this price segment. You can also have a look at that camera comparison videos. Now finally the buying option so this device will be available on Flipkart so there are two variants uh, 3 GB RAM 32 GB storage variant 10 triple nine is the pricing that's 11k pricing and the second variant is come comes with 4 GB RAM and 64 GB internal storage and that is priced at 14 triple nine so there is a, a 4k pricing difference between these two devices and uh, uh, these two variants uh, to be precise so uh, both the variants will be available on Flipkart so you can buy it from Flipkart. So we'll share the link uh, in the description of this video in case you plan to buy this device. So that was the FAQ video on the Honor 9 Lite. So hope you have answered almost all your questions. So, so in case you still have any questions, you can drop a comment in this video and we'll try to answer your questions. So hope this video was useful. Do hit that like button and also hit the red subscribe button for more videos. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.